4 o'clock a.m. on Friday. I finally finished Tuesday's video and got it uploaded. So, um, Wednesdays and Thursdays are short little videos because I was pretty much editing Tuesday's video the whole time. So, um, yeah, I guess this is going to start Friday's video and I'm going to go to sleep. And then, I don't know what I'm going to do today. We'll find out later. Actually, right now. So today is interesting. It's pretty cool. Uh, Fairfield Cycle Center, where I bought my GS500 motorcycle from, uh, they closed, so I had to find a new place to get service done. So I came here, and then um, I saw this, and I liked it. So I got it. I'm trading in my GS500 for Kawasaki uh, 650R. So, pretty cool. And it's actually this one right here. My new bike. Kawasaki Ninja 650R. So, pretty cool. I like how it's got... You can see the shocks right there, and it's all orange. And, you know. LCD dashboard. It's got dual front calipers. So, yeah. Nice. And Tim's over here. Sitting on, is this the same thing? 250R. Oh, it's a 250R. You were looking at one of these too, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, you were looking at the Honda version of it, weren't you? No. Honda doesn't make a 250R. Oh, yeah, was it the Ninja 250R? It was the Ninja 250R. Yeah. A lot of people have these because they're really good on gas. Huh? They're really good on gas. You get like 70. Actually, freeway so. speed is fine. It's a six speed transmission. Your freeway speed is fine. I'd probably. Could trade mine in for one of these too. Yeah. I mean, that'd be a downgrade, but. Yeah, but. I mean, price wise, it'd save a ton of money. Yeah. Ask him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we both come home with the new bikes. We just come home with like, the like, what? But you, bright green you and bright orange. And I went way down. Back you went, to, yeah, because you started on a 250, and then you went to 750, and, and then back I was to 250. Buy one of these as an upgrade. And you were going to go from your. Yeah, Hon you're the Honda, Honda Nighthawk Night Hawk to, this, to this. Over a hundred. Yeah. Um, which I mean, that's all you need, really. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to go faster than that. So. And it's an R. Turning would be nice. Yeah. See how you, how you look on it. <laughs> you go down like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There it goes. Taking it in the shop. Turn the other way and put it on P. Yep. That leaves your tail light on. Great way to kill the battery. Okay, to get under the seat. Keyhole's right down here. Yep. Turn it. Seat pulls back. Maintenance free battery. Tool kit. A little bit of story. A little bit. These are the helmet locks. Okay, that's how that goes. Right on there. Loops around there. Put the seat back on. I never recommend leaving your helmet on the bike. Yeah. You know, two, three times a year, I have a guy come in with the D-rings missing off the helmet. He just stole it. Yeah. And besides that, you leave it outside on a 70, 80 degree day, you're sticking your head in it. Yeah. Idle adjust, oil fill, oil level window. But the bike's gotta be upright. The oil coming into the window yeah. now. Yep, yeah. three quarters of the way up. Regular unleaded. Regular. One of the best things Brett does. You got a full tank. Nice. I worked for a couple of people. You put a gallon into the mask. Mm -hmm. you know, you know, somebody's spending nine, ten thousand dollars a year too cheap. Yeah. I mean, Fill it up. <laughs> yeah, I mean this is this is seventeen, eighteen bucks worth of gas. Yeah. You know what? It's just it's the right thing to do. Okay, turn her on. Make sure you got your green neutral light. Don't touch the throttle. There's no choke. 
Four-way flashers, high and low beam. One light, high beam, you got both. Turn signal, left, right, push to cancel. Average. Okay, you're gonna have uh, an FI light that will come on if you have a fuel injection problem. Okay. That's your high and low beam. High beam. Temperature, that'll come on when it, before it starts, showing you there's no oil pressure. All right. You've got one mile on the odometer, 1.3 on the trip, hit reset. Reset. Okay, now there's one other thing I want to figure out on this. That's your fuel gauge, the bar graph there. Yeah. Okay. So when it gets down to either one or two bars, it'll start flashing. <laughs> and that usually means there's eight tenths of a gallon left. Mmm. All natural ingredients.